All right, man, y'all ready to keep this party rocking, baby? That's what's up. This next brother is a Second City alum. He's also written for Martin Short. I want y'all to show some love right now for Greg Miller! Because if we live it up, we show, show of hands, who hates show of hands? Give it up, give it up if you were honest enough to say that you hated show of hands. Because that takes courage to do that, right? Show of hands who's got no hands. Gotcha, okay. Give it up for the limbless. Put your stumps together. This is important. Because if we don't give it and we don't show it, then we don't live it and we can't give it unless you keep it going. Because living is loving. That's my low energy opener, all right? So welcome everybody, this is exciting. I, I, thank you, yes, I am in the obligatory white cis straight male in a blazer slot. That's the comedian slot I'm in. There's still some of us left, we weren't all canceled, okay. It's exciting. I, uh, I really am glad to be here this is a true story. I have not done stand-up in a long while. This is my first club set, true story, since I was diagnosed and treated and battled the big C. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. And some of you know this. I've had a couple surgeries, and I think I speak on behalf of all of us when I say, fuck chlamydia. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the struggle is real. I know some of you are very close. People close to you have fought this valiant foe. Maybe you went to the, you know, some of the runs for the causes or whatnot, tied the little ribbon around your genitals. I mean, this is, we're trying to make a difference. Now, I, uh, the big C, of course, is not that. It is cancer. And um, I had cancer. I went through chemotherapy. Um, I had one of my testicles removed which is weird because it was lung cancer. <laughs> but you know, trust the science. Those I said, trust the science. The doctors know what they're talking about. Fauci, kidding, controversial. All right, here we go. No, I, I just figured, are you, are you starting the long way up and, and getting up there? I don't know. No, I, <laughs> I had lung cancer. Um, I had a third of my lower right lung removed. I have a great team at Northwestern. They did it right, I'm healed, I'm in the remish zone. So that's good. Yeah. I feel great, I'm doing stand up, and as far as uh, side effects, they're minimal and bad stuff, oh, shit. <laughs> and then his lungs gave out, that was weird. Ah, no. Here is, this is what a long road it was, because this is when it happened, right? Pandemic happens, quarantine happens, all those waves of COVID happen, then I get diagnosed with cancer. And now I'm not gonna say that, that that big chunk of time there took its toll on me emotionally and physically, but I did just turn 24. <laughs> Three years ago I looked like a Jonas brother. Now I'm a Jonas father. <laughs> I know, I know what you think I look like. You think, I know, you're like, he looks like if Pitbull gained 35 pounds and was an accountant in Skokie. <laughs> <laughs> Get that all the time. 
I'm going down with it. I'm yelling timber. I don't care. Yeah, Jesus. Another inside musical reference we have to parse through as an audience. <laughs> no. Hey, uh, I'm kind of excited. Do you guys want to see uh, some new material that I'm really excited about? <laughs> All right, here goes. I call this material uh, the fabric. Uh, Burlap mustard. Yeah. 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 I like it. It's it just, it's very, it's got so much texture and it really, it really reads seasonal, don't you think? I mean, does it read scarecrow back there? I mean, it's, yeah, it's, why don't, why don't you feel that? It's, it's just material. It's my new material. <laughs> so that's brand new. Direct from Joanne's. I have some old material here. Now this, <laughs> this smells like a bonfire of nacho cheese from 1997. Why don't you get a load of that? A little hit of that, that action. I'll save that as a keepsake for you. So I'm working on new material. My prop comic, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> what carrot topping and happened to me? No, I, uh, so no, I'm not 24, I'm 52. I'm 52 and single. It's great. It's fine. Until people find out what kind of 52 and single you are, right? When you're 52 and single and divorced, people are like, oh man, sorry to hear about that, but uh, good for you for getting back out there. If you're 52 single and God forbid widowed, they're like, oh man, Sorry to hear about that, but good for you for finding a good network of friends and support. <laughs> if you're 52 single and never been married, they're like, the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> you pervo? <laughs> you creep? Stop looking at my window. <laughs> Pull your pants up. Don't run across the street to your conversion van. Finish your manifesto, come on! Go eat at Long John Silver's for every meal. Which, in defense of LJS, I gotta say, for a chain restaurant, very authentic hush puppies. I think it's the paprika. So. Now this is showbiz! You like this material? Very good, right? Yeah? Thank you. you like, oh, sorry. Yeah. 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 There you go. <laughs> that really made a difference. Yeah. Showing the right side of the new material. I love it. I love it. Yeah, it's very showbiz. It's bright. I like, Give it up for that sign. Iconic, isn't it? I mean, Jesus, is that working hard? I like it because it matches the sign. Like... What if this was the comma after comedians? There would be a whole new meaning. <laughs> be like, comedians, you should know. And we'd be like, what? What should we know? What? And we're insecure anyway. But do we have enough time? How much time do we get? What? And then we'd be all powwowing back there like it's the riddle of the fucking sphinx. What should we know? I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. <coughs> what should we know? Um... So that's going on. Here's what, here's what I do. I watch a lot of true crime. Any true crimers? <laughs> Where are my true crimers at? Uh, I engulf true crime. Now, I am, I am not a forensic expert. However, I do pick up stuff, and I have this one tip. This one tip. You guys might know what I'm talking about. If you are planning on brutally murdering somebody, do not. <laughs> do not type in your how to murder and get away with it questions into Google. <laughs> do not do that. They check the searches every single time, every single episode. And the, these murders are so dumb. It's so incriminating and so specific. They're like, number of stabs it takes to kill a Jesuit priest. Why would you type that? You are the pastor at that same parish. They, and they get so real-time and specific, too. They're like, 
Best place to hide a freshly dead body in a jiffy loop. Why would you type that? You're the assistant manager. You have keys. Sometimes they're so obvious, you're like, this can't be real, right? Uh, how to secretly poison your stepmother, Sheila, on a cruise if your name is Derek Mason, 6453. <laughs> Why would you type that? All right, this is what I'm closing on. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm back on the apps, but I'm not on the apps you guys are on. I'm the one, I'm on the ones that are skewed towards my demographic. Uh, you might have cancer stricken. No, not cancer. <laughs> what? That's a thing. No, I, I'm on the ones that are, you know, kind of skewed towards my demographic. Uh, you might have heard of them. Bumble Senior, uh, Large Print Tinder, Squeaky Hinge. I don't know if you guys have heard of Squeaky Hinge. Have I? And I, I don't know if I'm doing it right, you guys, because I scroll through and I'm getting the same type of woman over and scratch that. I'm getting the exact same woman. Her name is Renee. She's got two kids. She lives in Arlington Heights. She loves dad jokes. She's fluent in sarcasm. And if pineapple on pizza is wrong, she doesn't want to be right. You're laughing at it because it's on your profiles. When did pineapple on pizza become this grand litmus test to green light true intimacy? Does it override all the real red flags now? Like so, some dude's like, yeah, I, uh, I talk only about myself. I'm a serial cheater. And if I do start dating you, that means you just come over to my house and we never go out in public. Okay. What do you like on your pizza? <laughs> Thank you, that's all my time! <laughs> Thank you.